hello good morning ladies and gentlemen how are you doing today um let's confirm that we are good to go this morning so if you can see my screen and you can hear my voice clearly kindly type in hi in the comment section so that we can get this started <coughs> Please don't mind my voice this morning as I'm going through some true flu and I will be having a thicker voice this morning. So I hope you don't mind. So let's quickly confirm this that we are good to go this morning. All right, what do we have here in the comment section? All right, I can see um, 815. Russian 228Z, all right. A carry, thank you very much for that confirmation. <laughs> okay, thank you, Steam Roller. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, thank you for that um, advice. I appreciate that. Well, I, I did some adjustment this morning, and I hope we're going to be having a better audio quality this morning. All right, with that being said, I want to welcome you to yet another promising session on the Extra and Speed Live. Uh, my name is Sheriff Daramola, and as usual, we shall be embarking on a trading journey in the next one hour where we shall be evaluating the financial market together, identifying technical parameters that we shall be using to guide our trading activity for today well um before we go into the chat um we want to be looking at the economic calendar if we really have any major event that we shall be looking forward to for today and one thing about this macroeconomic event is that it helps uh, bring some liquidity into the market as uh, major influencers in the financial market will be bringing in uh, funds into the market based on the anticipation that is post the event or proud the event and, and post to the event as well so um for today thursday january 5 we have um the adp employment change which is coming up in two hours 15 minutes from now and it appears that we have some positivity in the hair for the us dollar as if you will compare the previous data here which is one twenty seven thousand compared to the consensus uh, the consensus are looking forward to around the hundred and fifty thousand for today so let's see how that is going to play out in the next two hours and we shall obviously be seeing our participants in this market will be anticipating this event and this will be reflected on the chart as price action so let's dive into the chart right now and let's look at what is really going on in the market and obviously what we do here on a daily basis is to review all the pairs we have been monitoring since the beginning of the week after which we will be making decisions and if there are advices i will be sharing them during the course of the session so my advice is that you stay tuned in so that you don't miss out on any of these opportunities that we will be discussing um, during the course of the session so with that being said the first pair we are going to be looking at this morning is the us oil and in fact on the us oil we have been very profitable since the beginning of this week as we have joined the sell momentum that started below the um 79 sorry the below the 80 dollar area here that was on tuesday when we started this week we rolled the move all the way down and if you are taking only one position here you will be running with over 650 pips before this bullish momentum started and in fact we had multiple entries on the us oil as you will remember we took advantage of this move right below the 79 dollar 40 cent level we also rolled this move below the 78 dollar area the 77 dollar also and during the live session yesterday i told you that we are going to be looking forward to how price action will be relating with the 75 dollar level ah uh, well yesterday i i mistakenly called the 75 dollar level the 74 dollar area so i had to do some adjustment here and um 
um relabeled it 75 dollar level so this is where we were talking about yesterday where we said we will remain patient to see how price action is going to react to that structure that is if we see by pressure right above the structure we might want to be getting that ready to join a bullish momentum and if we see price breaking down the structure a retail should be giving us an opportunity to join that decline to the downside and the later is what happened here as we saw a breakdown um, retest of the 75 dollar level and in fact price moved about um over 180 pips in our favor before we started seeing this buy opportunity coming at this point and for those who had been part of this trading journey since the beginning of the week congratulations to you guys for being on standby to catch that move has they happened so now that we have this sealed up right now how do we intend to trade the u.s oil going into the new york session today well first of all when we look at the one hour time frame here um i was able to identify some parameters here which um we shall be using to guide our trading activities for today and the first one is the fact that we need to take into consideration that price action has been on a bearish turn since the beginning of the week as you can see um the highest point price was this week was around the 81 dollar level here which is the first pivot high that we can we have here and after connecting the series of lower heights we have this resultant bearish trend line figured out here. So one of the parameters we shall be using to guide trading activity today is the bearish trend line here, which appears to have been broken during the early hours of today. And coupled with the buy pressure we have been noticing around the $73 level here, we might be in for a reversal pattern at this point. And so to make things a little bit easy for us, I was able to identify a structure here at the $74 level, which appears to be the neckline of that reversal pattern. So you will be asking me, what is this reversal pattern I'm talking about here? Okay. So if we look at this impulsive move right from the $81 level, we saw that as soon as price got into the $73 level here, we saw a sharp rejection of that level by the buyers. And we saw the first touch. Price came back to the neckline area. We saw the second touch. Price was unable to break the previous low here. And then we have the situation that looks like a double bottom structure. And whenever we have a reversal pattern like this the next thing we want to be doing is to identify a neckline which we shall be using to guide our trading activity and that is why we have the 74 dollar area here where a breakout retest of the structure should be giving us an opportunity to join that um, rally to the upside and this is exactly what happened here I actually shared this on my public platform this morning where I was looking out for a breakout of the $74 level here to give us that leverage to join that buy opportunity to the down to the upside. And in fact, I got I have a position triggered already. And currently I'm running with about let's see about 75 pips in profit, which is not bad. And one thing we want to be doing here, if you are part of this position right here what we want to be doing right now is to move our stop loss to break even or lock in some profit with about 10 pips there about just to make sure that we um we don't get caught up in any sudden pullback that might likely happen here and we also want to take into consideration the fact that this is a long-term bearish momentum at least throughout this week we have been witnessing selling pressure um, from the sellers and this we don't want to get caught up in any sudden pullback that might likely happen at this point so this is what we are going to be losing to guide our trading activity today so we have the 74 dollar level here and price action has broken out of that bearish trend line so we are going to be looking forward to see how price action will continue from this level and for those who had missed out on this opportunity here what we are going to be doing right now is to remain patient and wait out for another chance if the market is going to be giving us so that we can join the trend quantity bullish momentum to the upside so now what are we going to be looking out for if you had missed out on this opportunity here well we have two situations to look out for here the first one is if price comes back to do a retest of the 74 dollar level remember the 74 dollar level was broken during the early hours of today so we might likely see price do a retest of structure before 
the incitation of another wave of bullish momentum so that is one scenario we will be looking forward to then the other possibility that could happen here is if price breaks out of the 75 dollar level here followed by buying pressure right around or above the structure at the 75 dollar level then we want to be looking out to join that potential rally to the upside and at this point in time if bullish momentum continues here um, in fact we have multiple structures here that might be giving us an opportunity to have multiple entries and look at what we have here we have the 77 dollar level which is the bottom area of that demand zone we identified earlier at the beginning of the week then we also have the 78 dollar area so the breakout of the structure retest will be giving us an opportunity to had more position to our existing trade at this point now if we take into consideration this bearish impulse like here um if this bullish momentum continues i want to be seeing this as a retracement of that impulsive move and if we are going to be seeing it as a retracement then we want to be using our fibonacci retracement to run it through the previous impulse like here where we shall be using that to project where our tp target is possibly going to be and that will be where the uh, um, the um, retracement phase might likely end here yeah? so we shall be aiming at our golden zone area which is an area between the 50 and the 78.6 percent of that previous impulse like here so for the sake of clarity i would like to label it so we call it tippy targets for for buyers and then we could also call this a potential sell window if we start seeing um reversal patterns or self pressure right around that area so um let's place this right inside the box here and then we give this a yellow color so that we can have a clean view of what our expectation is going to be so for the buying opportunity here if price action continues to climb above the 75 dollar area then we will be looking at tp target between the 77 dollar 20 cent area and the 80 dollar area at least in the meantime which will be giving us a minimum of about 300 pips to a maximum of about 550 pips if price action continues in that direction so let's see how price action plays out from this point and um, i hope that we be on standby to catch um possible additional entries on the us oil so that is that for the buying expectations here on the us oil now we also want to be taking into consideration the fact that sellers could possibly come in at this point as well even though we are looking forward to buying the X, the us oil um there is a tendency that sellers could come in considering the fact that we have been on a long-term bearish momentum here so what we are going to be looking forward to for me personally um i was able to identify a temporary bullish trend line around this area where we have noticed by pressure coming in since the later part of the new york session yesterday so i have this temporary bearish bullish trend line which i will be calling at this point in time and if at any point in time price breaks down that trend line then we might be in for another wave of bearish momentum so that is one scenario i will be looking forward to to sell the us oil for today then another thing that could happen is if price continues above the 75 dollar level we already in that trade already and we start seeing by pressure above the 75 dollar area we want to be adding more position and as price continues to the upsides and gets into the 77 dollar area here we want to be moving our stop loss to lock in some profit and the reason why we are going to be locking in some profit here is simply because of the fact that this level has been a major determinant of price action for this week so we are going to be patient enough to wait out and see how price action is going to react to that level and if you look into the past year you can see how that level at one point in time has been holding by pressure uh, before we saw the breakdown of that structure during the um, um, second day of this week we saw the breakdown of that structure and there is a likelihood that price might come into this area do some do some sell pressure around this level 
and then incite another wave of bearish momentum that is a possibility that could happen so that is why i said as soon as price gets into the 77 dollar area kindly move your stop loss accordingly to lock in some profit wait out and see if price is going to form some selling pressure around that area in anticipation of a bearish move and if that does not happen price climbs up breaks above that structure well that will be giving us a good opportunity to um join another wave of bullish momentum back into this um potential tp target zone for buyers that we have already identified hell yeah so these are my views here on the us oil and before i close on the us oil i would like us to have an holistic view first of all um to see what's really happening on the daily time frame and let's see if what we have identified on the one hour time frame will align with what um our expectations are on the one hour time frame so um in that regard we scale up to the daily time frame here and what do we have on the daily time frame and if we look at the daily time frame here uh, remember at the beginning of the week we um identified this bullish trend line which lasted for two years holding by pressure after connecting the series of higher lows we had that bullish trend line figured out then in addition to the structure was that bearish trend line which started mid last year so we saw um second half of last year saw a bearish momentum on the u.s oil as price action continued to find lower highs and as a result of this we connected the series of lower highs here which gave us that bearish trend line that you can see on your screen right now then when we zoom into what has been happening here in the last quarter we saw the last quarter of last year we saw a consolidation phase between the 93 dollar 50 cent level and the um 78 80 dollar area here um, emphasizing the indecision in this market now we have a breakdown of the 78 dollar area the first day of the month of december price action came back to do a retest of the structure during the last day of last year's trading session and at the beginning of this year we saw price respecting the 80 dollar level sellers broke down that bullish trend line to bring price back into the 73 dollar level so this is the buy position we are right now so we might likely see a situation where price will come back into the 78 dollar level or the 80 dollar area which lines up exactly with where our tp target is is for the buy opportunity where we might be seeing price respect that level one more time to send another wave of bearish momentum or we could likely have a breakout retest of that structure to incite another wave of bullish momentum so when the time comes for that we shall be um taking the the right step accordingly but at this point in time this is where we are right now and we already have a buy position running move your stop loss to break even let's see how far this retracement phase is going to go and if it breaks out um the structures here then we will act accordingly to join another wave of bullish momentum so these are my views here on the us oil i hope i made things a little bit simpler for you to understand and my advice is always that you um, screenshot my screen so that you can use it as a reference point whenever you are about to make your individual decision on the us oil for today so we continue to hold on to our buy expectation here um unless a breakdown of the 74 dollar level happens so that is that if you have any questions regarding what i just explained so far feel free to drop your inquiries in the comment section and let's see how i can be of help in that regard okay so uh let's quickly run through the comment section i will be taking the next 10 to 15 seconds to read through the chats and see if you have any questions for me before we move on to the next option so uh what do we have here okay okay all right uh, good morning annabelle Neg negra good morning to you good morning 907 uh, all right um let's see let's see
Okay. I have quite a lot of comments here. I'm trying to see the most significant one that relates to what we are talking about here. Okay, 952, good morning to you. Joanne Ba, good morning. All right. So in the absence of no question regarding what I just explained so far, I think we just have to move on to the next option so the next option we are going to be looking at this morning is the us tech and let's do a quick review of what our expectation was during the live session yesterday so at the beginning of the week we had some couple of opportunities here we had a buy position right above the eleven thousand, which we took but was stopped out at break even at this point before we started seeing selling pressure that finally broke down the eleven thousand dollar level and we were able to take advantage of this move on tuesday and we rode it all the way down here which gave us over 200 pips in profit before we saw this uh, bullish momentum and during the live session yesterday we were around the hold on a second we were around here during the live session yesterday around the ten thousand nine hundred dollar level and one thing i said about this bullish move is that it might likely be a retracement of this impulsive move that we had here so we were able to identify a sell window sitting right around the ten thousand nine hundred and the eleven thousand area where we said we shall be looking out for selling opportunities which might come in the form of a reversal pattern to join another wave of bearish momentum and in fact we had our tp target sitting somewhere around the ten thousand six fifty dollar level uh, sorry excuse me and what really happened yesterday was the fact that we saw selling pressure coming around this area and we were able to take advantage of that move and price action dropped um i think many times here we had first drop here which moved over over 100 pips we also had a second drop here around this area which moved also over 100 pips here and at this point in time uh, you would agree that the situation we have around this level is very very choppy here so we need to be very very mindful of how we are going to be trading this now for those who are still in this trade right now i will suggest that you move your stop loss to break even move your stop loss accordingly lock in some profit and let's wait out to see how price action will re react to this current structure and one thing about this current structure here on the one hour time frame is the fact that we have um a key level here sitting at the ten thousand eight seventy dollar level here and look at what has been happening around the structure remember the structure was um the support level for this week this was where price this was the lowest point at the beginning of this week and this was the highest point at the beginning of this week so we had the resistant level at the eleven thousand and sixty, and we had a support level at the ten thousand eight seventy level and if you notice what has been happening here in the last 48 hours we can see we have been witnessing sharp rejection of the ten thousand eight seventy by the buyers giving us a clue that there is a tendency that buyers are likely going to be coming in at this point so what we simply saw here is a consolidation phase between the eleven thousand dollar level and the ten thousand eight seventy giving us a clue that there is an indecision in this market and whenever we have this kind of flat channel structure the next thing we want to be doing is to remain patient where we are going to be waiting out for either a breakout of that structure to give us an opportunity to buy or a breakdown of that structure to give us an opportunity to sell. So what we are going to be doing here, if you are already in this trade, move your stop loss to break even at this point lock and some profit and if you are yet to be in this trend then i will suggest that you remain patient here as we look out for either a breakdown of the 10,870 to join that decline to the downside or a breakout of the eleven thousand dollar area to give us an opportunity to buy the us tech for today <clears throat> So this is what we are going to be looking forward to for today. So let's remain patient here and wait out for the structure to mature before joining any potential opportunity on the US tech. Now, um, for you to understand the importance of the $11,000 level, I would like to scale up to the daily time frame. Let's quickly run through what it looks like on the daily time frame. I mean the $11,000 area so that you can understand the significance and importance of this level. Now, on the daily time frame during the beginning of this week, we um, identify this bearish trend line. We all acknowledge the fact that price action has been bearish throughout the year 
drought last year and as a result of that we had this bearish trend line figured out however things got a little bit interesting in the month of june where we saw buyers coming in to negate all um all selling pressure here so we saw that as soon as sellers got into this area we saw buying attempts from we saw buying attempts to negate all selling pressure and if you look at that level it is the eleven thousand dollar level which i showed you on the one hour time frame so that is that structure here so you can see how important that level has been for buying opportunities on the us tech so look at what happened here and the month of october we saw buy pressure here um when price broke above the structure we saw buy pressure we saw buy pressure and we saw the this engulfing candle during the month of november too as well and then as you can see here during the last week of last year we saw that level old and selling pressure and another thing is the fact that we are sitting right on the demand zone right here so the tendency for bullish momentum is still very very likely here and one thing i said on the one hour time frame is that we are going to be looking out for a breakout of the eleven thousand dollar level followed by buying pressure on a lower time frame to join that bullish move to the upside with a tp target sitting around the eleven thousand seven hundred a level which also shares a confluence with that bearish trend line that we identified earlier so this is how important the eleven thousand seven hundred is so we are going still going to be holding on to that level to guide our trading activities for um this week so scaling back down to the one hour time frame like i said um this is the eleven thousand dollar level here remember i told you we are within a flat channel resistant level the eleven thousand the support level 10,870 so we said we are going to be waiting out for a breakout of the 11,000 to give us an opportunity to buy the US tech so we are going to be patient for this and if price breaks down the 10,870 we want to be looking out for selling opportunities with a tippy target sitting between the 10,680 and the 10,600 dollar level so these are my views here on the US tech so let's be on standby so that we can catch this move when it finally happens then we moved on to talk about the gbp usd yesterday and what is our expectation here on the gbp usd so during the live session yesterday where were we during the live session yesterday um so we were around this point yesterday hold on a second um we were around the 1.20450 remember and we noticed buy pressure coming in around that area that is the 1.20450 level and one thing we said is that we'll continue to look out for buying opportunity as long as price continue to respect this bullish trend line and for those who are already in this trade yesterday i told you to move your stop loss accordingly to lock in your position against any sudden pullback that might happen and for those who are not in um in that trade i told you to remain patient and wait out for the breakout of the 1.20800 level for an opportunity to join the rally to the upside but um that did not happen and the other scenario i stated here yesterday was that this trend line here if this breakdown of the trend line happens which also shares a confluence with the 1.20450 uh, followed by a retest to structure we want to be joining that decline to the downside and if you are taking advantage of that move well done to you as you will currently be running with over 30 pips in profit at this point so what i'll be advising us to do right now is to see how far this breakdown is going to go so as long as price remains below the 1.20450 we will continue to look out for um selling opportunity and one thing about the GP USD for this year is the fact that sellers appear to have taken advantage of this market as the as the year started below the 1.2100 level and what we saw since the beginning of the year was the fact that price action has continued to find lower lows and lower highs so we can see price dropped to the 1.20800 we saw selling pressure resume from that area and in fact throughout yesterday we saw how the 1.20800 level was rejected by the sellers as every attempt by the buyers to break out of that structure 
was negated by the sellers and this led to the final breakdown of that bullish trend line to further confirm that the sellers are still very strong in this market now with the current situation we have here if you had missed out on this opportunity that we took here this morning well i will i will advise that you remain patient here and let's see how price action will be reacting to the 1.20200 level and what we want to be seeing here is a breakdown uh, followed by selling pressure below the structure to join that decline to the downside and at this point in time we should be having our tp target sitting around the 1.19 level where we will be looking forward to see how price action will be reacting to the structure if that's if we are going to be having a breakdown then we will be thinking of adding more position to our existing trade and if buy pressure comes in above the structure then we will be looking out for buying opportunities on the U on the GBP USD. So with this being said here, let's quickly run through the daily time frame. Let's have an holistic view of what is going on here so that we can seal up our expectations for today. So right here on the daily time frame, at the beginning of the week, we we identified a couple of structures here that we said we will be using to guide our trading activities for this year and the first thing we observed on the daily time frame is the fact that the gpp usd has been going through a bearish momentum throughout last year and in fact till somewhere in the month of um, november when we finally saw the breakout of the bearish trend line which gave us a signal that the trend line was no longer strong enough to hold selling pressure we saw the breakout of that structure and since then price has continued to climb to the upside and one thing about this bullish momentum that started in month of september was the fact that it uniformly respected it uniformly found higher lows and we were able to connect the series of higher lows here to give us that bearish that bullish trend line that we have on the screen right now then in addition to the structures i've just explained is the importance of the 1.200 level here and look at how this level has been a major determinant of price action since the second beginning of the second half of last year we saw buy pressure coming around this level sell pressure here uh, buy pressure again and then when price broke out of the structure at the beginning of the month of december we saw that um, price retested and we continue to see buy pressure around the 1.200 level a level which also shares a confluence with that bullish trend line i showed you earlier so at this point in time we are at a very critical point in time where uh, the possibility of price moving either way is very very high we could have a situation where the buy pressure around this area could incite another wave of bullish momentum and at the same time we could have a situation where price action might likely break down that bullish trend line to incite another wave of bearish momentum probably to retest the structure that was broken during the month of november last year so we might see a situation where price will come into that level so we don't know yet so we are at a critical point in the market right now sitting somewhere around the 1.200 level here so there is a possibility that price could go to the upside from here and there is also the possibility that price could go to the downside so in order to have better understand what is really going on here that is why we needed the lower time frame the one hour time frame where we want to be seeing what is really going on around here identify some technical structures and we shall be using that to guide our trading activities for today so going back to the one hour time frame what can we see around the 1.200 level so back to the one hour time frame let's quickly look at what the 1.200 level looks like so this is where the 1.200 level is <clears throat> so for the sake of clarity here let's um identify that level so we have the 1.200 level here okay should i give it a um, golden color i think that would be most appropriate and then we give this uh okay so we have the 1.200 level here uh and if you let's relabel this so that is the 1.200 level and one thing we have noticed here is that um 
price has respected that level one more time here during the early hours of today we can see we saw buy pressure around that area so at this point we might be seeing a situation where buyers would come in but from the look of things here considering the sell pressure we have been witnessing since the beginning of the year right below the 1.21 and the breakdown of those bullish trend line i will continue to remain uh, bearish on this one so for those who had missed out on this opportunity here let's hold on and wait out for another breakdown of the 1.200 level here uh with selling pressure below the structure to give us an opportunity to join that decline to the downside so this is what i will be looking forward to on the gpus let me delete this one this 1.20200 i don't need that is not is not relevant at this point and let's extend the 1.20 level here uh which lines up with that um demand zone that we have identified earlier so we had this demand zone here and the demand zone was broken um at the beginning of this week here and we want to see another breakdown of the 1.200 level to give us an opportunity to be part of that sell move to the downside so let's remain patient here and wait out for the structure to mature before we want to be joining the decline to the downside and for those who are thinking of buying the jp usd at this point in time i will be suggesting that we need a significant breakout of the supply zone here that is between the 1.2100 level and the 1.20800 area to give us a clue that buyers are likely going to be taking over this market so we shall be looking forward to either a breakout of that level or for me to be thinking of buying if that does not happen i'll continue to hold on to my sell expectation here on the gbp usd and one thing i also want us to take into consideration is the fact that we have a macroeconomic event coming up today uh the adp employment change which is a very significant um event and then remember we also have the non-farm payroll coming up tomorrow and i can i can tell you that this is the reason why we have been witnessing a choppy scenario in this market in the last 48 hours as there is an indecision participants in this market are stay, stepping aside waiting for um um some catalyst that will be driving movement bringing some liquidity into the market and will be driving price movement so we also want to remain patient here and wait out for the structure to mature um that is that on the gp usd if you have any questions regarding what i just explained so far feel free to drop your inquiries in the comment section while i move on to the next pair <clears throat> So the next pair we are going to be looking at this morning is the USD JPY and in fact we have a profitable situation here on the USD JPY as we were able to take advantage of this buy opportunity above the 131.00 level. Remember at the beginning of this week we had a simple structure where price was hold on price was initially caught within a channel between the 131 japanese yen level i will be sharing with you how important that level is on the daily time frame let's quickly run through what our expectations was yesterday before i move on to the daily time frame to give you a breakdown of how important the structures are and how they are going to be influencing price movement for and um, this week for today and for next week probably <laughs> so and we had the resistant level at the 131 japanese yen level at the beginning of the week and then we had the support level at the 130.650 so we saw that um this was the uh, the structure and we were waiting out for either a breakout of the structure or a breakdown of the structure to give us an opportunity to trade the usd jpy and in fact at the beginning of the week we saw a breakdown of the 130.650 which gave us an opportunity to sell and we were able to join over a hundred pips move before we witnessed this buy push buy buy momentum that took over the market and brought price back into the entry zone and we saw a couple of attempts by the sellers to further push price to the downside that is below the 130.650 but one thing we observed during the live session yesterday was the fact that we have this 130.200 continuing to negate all sellers attempt so we saw the first touch here price um, buyers negated the selling pressure we saw another touch here as uh 
this structure was unable to break the previous low here giving us a clue that there is a tendency that buyers might likely come in at this point and one thing i said yesterday was that if we are going to be buying the the usd jpy we want to be looking out for buying opportunity right above the 131 japanese yen level and this is exactly what happened during the new york session yesterday a price broke out of that structure and in fact we had over how many pips move over 850 pips move back into the 132.720 and during the um, new york session yesterday i think i shared this on my public platform where i said we are going to be looking out for another opportunity to add more position remember we had this bullish trend line to guide bullish momentum and we saw the breakout of that trend line here a retest of that trend line should be giving us an opportunity to add more position to our existing trade and this is exactly what happened price action came back to do a retest of that trend line a trend line which also shares a confluence with the 132 2.00 level to incite another wave of bullish momentum and if you are taking advantage of that second opportunity kudos to you for being on standby as you will currently be running with about 48 pips in profit at this point so what we are going to be doing for those who are taking advantage of this um buy positions here the next thing we want to be doing here is to lock in some profit and what i will be suggesting here is around the, below the 132.200 let's lock in some profit around that area and wait out to see how price action is going to play out from this current structure that we are in right now now as we head into the new york session today and for those who had missed out on this opportunity we shall be looking at how possible it is for us to um be able to uh, be part of this bullish momentum if it's going to continue to happen but before we go into the details of that we need to understand what is really going on in this market right now now on the one hour time frame here we have observed that since price tested the 132.720 we have been witnessing selling pressure from that area and as a result of this we have our resistance point sitting right around the 132.720 as you can see here in the last um, 18 hours now we have been witnessing selling pressure come in from that level in addition to this resistant level is the support channel we have at a very strong psychological level that is the 132.00 area so we have a support channel here and from what we can decipher from this current structure it shows us that this pattern here can transition into two possible potential and the first one is the fact that um, the site of selling pressure around this area could incite um, a double top structure you can see following this impulsive move to the upside we had the first touch we have a neckline sitting around the 132.0 level we had a second touch here price was unable to break the previous high and then we might be having a breakdown of the 132.00 level to incite another wave of bearish momentum so that is one potential we want to be looking forward to here then the other potential here is that this consolidation phase here could transpose into a trend continuation pattern in the form of a bullish rectangular pattern where a breakout of the 132.720 retest of structure should be inciting another wave of bullish momentum so at this point in time i have told you to move your stop loss accordingly somewhere below the 132.200 level seems most appropriate to lock in some profit here and what we are going to be looking forward to now is either a breakout of the 132 32.750 level to give us an opportunity to buy the usd jpy or had more position to our existing trade on the usd jpy so that is one scenario then the other possible scenario that could happen is if price breaks down the 132 point zero zero level followed by selling pressure below the structure in our lower time frame we want to be joining that decline to the downside <clears throat> Now, with that being said here, remember we had this bullish trend line that we were using yesterday to guide our trading activity. Remember, we had uh, connected a series of higher lows here. We had the breakdown of the structure. Price climbed up again. Price respects this bullish trend line one more time. And at this point, I will be looking forward to see how price action is going to react to this bullish trend line here. So, um instead of waiting for price action to break down the 
132.00 level to sell we might be looking forward to seeing price break down those bullish trend line if we do if price does a retest to structure in our lower time frame followed by selling pressure we could actually join the decline to the downside from there and if a further breakdown of the 132 happens that will welcome another opportunity to add more position to our existing trade so going into the new york session today we have two parameters we shall be using to guide our trading activity the first one is the trend line where if price continue to trade above the trend line breaking out of the 132.720 we continue to look out for buying opportunity above the trend line but if price breaks down this trend line um retest of structure should incite another wave of bearish momentum then the second parameter is this channel between the 132.720 and the 132.00 level where we shall be looking forward to either a breakout or a breakdown of the channel to give us an opportunity to join um, that decline or rally to the upside now before i close the um usd jpy i want us to uh look at um how important the structure at the 131 japanese yen level is on the daily time frame and uh, at the beginning of the week we looked at the daily time frame where we hold on a second where we identify how important the 131 japanese yen level is and this level has been a major determinant of price action since um april last year we saw how that level at one point was holding sudden pressure before the breakout of that structure happened in the month of june and since the break above of the 131 japanese yen level in the month of june last year we have been witnessing that area to be a strong buying niche for participants in this market look at what happened here it was a buying niche it was a buying niche here again in july and in august too as well it was a buying niche then in december last year it was also a strong buying niche for participants in this market and what has been happening since the beginning of the week also we have been witnessing buy pressure come in from that level as well <coughs> sorry excuse me and from the structure we have here it is obvious that buyers are very strong in this market around that level that level adds a memory for buying power and yesterday's candle closed bullish for us yesterday and we might be having a situation where this bullish momentum will continue to the upside in such a way that it breaks out the 135 to incite another wave of bullish momentum so we shall be getting ourselves prepared to take advantage of adding more position to our current existing buy position on the us jpy now in addition to the break to this um to this information here um selling the usd jpy will be very visible if we have a breakdown of the 131 japanese yen level um taking out all the buy position around this area that's if that breakdown happens then that will be a very good signal that sellers have come to stay then we look out for selling pressure on our lower time frame below the structure to join that decline to the downside but as long as price remain above the 131 level we continue to look out for buying opportunity so let's go back down to the one hour time frame where we were before so this is the one hour time frame right now and this is the 131 japanese yen level which we identified on the daily time frame so we continue to look out for buying pressure above the structure now if the breakdown of the bullish trend line happens and we join a sell position i will be suggesting that between the 131 and the 130.650 should be an area where our take profit target will be as we might be having a we might be having bullish momentum coming in from that level remember that level was broken yesterday uh we had the breakout of that structure and from a technical standpoint whenever we have a breakout of a structure like this we might likely see a situation where price comes back to do a retest of that structure to incite another wave of bullish momentum so we want to be prepared to catch this move when they finally happen and in fact if we have a breakdown of that bullish trend line uh, we might be in to have about 150 pips move to catch here if price continues to um plunge to the downside from that level so let's be on standby to catch this move when it happens so let's quickly run through the last pair for today and the last pair we are going to be treating for today is the xau usd and on the xau usd uh, we have the situation here where at the beginning of the week price action was caught within um a channel 
of the $1,832.50 level and the resistant level at the $1,850. So we had a huge channel around this area. And at the breakout of this um, $1,832 level, we took advantage of a buy position around this area, which fetched us about, um, let me see how many pips that was. Uh, we fetched us about over 3,000 pips before we started seeing that sell pressure come in and yesterday as well i told you that we should also be looking forward to adding more position to our buy trade if price breaks out and comes back to do a retest of the 1850 so we also added more position to our existing trade but unfortunately for the buyers the sell pressure at the 1860 dollar level continued hereby taking us out on all the buy position that we had yesterday so we were able to close with about 2500 pips at the end of the day so now going into the new york session today what is going to be our plans well the first thing you would observe here on the one hour time frame is the fact that as soon as price tested the 1860 dollar level we have been witnessing selling pressure from that level so it gives us a sign that buyers are very weak at this point as every attempt by the buyers to break out of the 1860 has been met with strong resistance from the sellers and this resulted in a situation where we begin to witness selling pressure from that level and in that regard when we have such a structure like this we want to be seeing this as a reversal pattern which might be inciting a sell-off at any point in time and if we look at what happened here look at the impulsive move here to the upside price rejected that level we had the first touch price was unable to break the previous eye giving us something that looks like a double top structure and whenever we have a double top structure like this it's a very strong reversal pattern the next thing we want to be doing is to identify a neckline which we shall be using to guide our trading activity and with the neckline sitting at around the 1850 what we want to be looking out for is a breakdown retest of this neckline to give us an opportunity to join that decline to the downside and this is exactly what has happened here we already have a breakdown of the neckline at the 1850 level <clears throat> followed by selling pressure below the structure to give us a sign that sellers might likely come in at this point so we want to going into the new york session today we want to continue to look out for selling opportunities below the 1850 so as long as price remain below the 1850 we want to be comfortable in our sell position however if um, buy momentum comes in here well at this point i will suggest that we wait out for a price to break out of the 1860 for us to buy the xau usd we want a situation where price action takes out all the buy put all the sell position here give us some liquidity so that we can push price to the upside so if the breakout of the 1860 does not happen we continue to look out for selling opportunity on the xau usd and in addition to the structure here i was able to identify this um trend line here after connecting the series of lower highs and we have this trend line here figured out so we shall be using this also as a yardstick for trading activities for today so we have the situation here uh we look out for so if a breakout of that trend line um breakout then by pressure above the structure it will be giving us an opportunity to buy and if price breaks out of the 1860 level here uh, we shall be seeing an opportunity to add more position to our existing trade but if price continue to trade below this trend line and the 1850 then our sell position is very good for us to stay in at this point so this is what we are going to be looking forward to for today. I hope I was able to make myself clear. And if you really have any questions regarding all the instruments we talked about today, feel free to drop your inquiries in the comment section and let's see how I can be of help in that regard. So before I drop the curtain on the live session today, let's do a quick recap of what our expectations are on all the instruments we talked about today. So the first instrument we talked about today is the U.S. oil. And remember, we have been on a 
bearish run since the beginning of the week which has given us over a thousand pips in profit on the u.s oil as we rolled this bearish move all the way from below the 80 dollar 40 cent down into the 73 dollar area and with the appearance of buy pressure right above the 73 dollar level uh, we saw this as a reversal pattern with a neckline sitting around the 74 dollar area and we saw the breakout of the neckline area which triggered a position for us this morning and for those who had missed out on this opportunity i have said that we shall be looking out for um, opportunities to add more position or join this rally if we see price comes back to do a retest of the structure with buy pressure above this level then we could join that trend continuation to the upside but if that does not happen and price breaks out of the 75 dollar area this will be a very good opportunity for us to add more position or join this rally outrightly so we already have a tp target zone for this momentum remember this is going to be a counter trend opportunity as we have this impulsive move taken into consideration and we think that this buy pressure that we have been noticing here if it continues is likely going to be a retracement of that previous impulse leg and as a result of this we were able to identify our golden zone area which is between the 50 and the 78.6 percent of the previous impulse leg where we said we shall be looking forward to a tp target for the buy opportunity where we are also going to be waiting out for selling pressure to come in to join that um, another wave to the downside from here so and like i said here if price continues to the upside uh, we want to wait out and see if price retests the $77 level here. We want to be moving our stop loss accordingly, lock in some profit and wait out and see how price action will be reacting to this structure at the $77 level. Remember this level has been a buy niche for participants in this market in the past before we saw the breakdown of the structure here. So there is a likelihood that price might come back to do a retest of the structure to incite another wave of bearish momentum so if price gets into this level during the new york session as this buy position runs on uh, we want to be moving our stop loss to break to lock in some profit and wait and see how price will react to this level so if we start seeing selling pressure below the structure then we want to be getting ready to join the decline at the breakdown retest of a structure on our lower time frame um, to join that decline to the downside uh, but instead if price breaks out of the 77 dollar level then that would be a very good opportunity for us to add more position to our existing trade on the u.s oil so that is that on the u.s oil then we went on to talk about the u.s tech um, on the U.S. tech today, we have this situation here where price has been caught within a consolidation phase between the $11,000 area and the support level here at the $10,870. And remember, we, we were able to join the sell position below the $11,000 level. And during the live session yesterday, we were expecting sell pressure, which we also joined as well, which gave us about 100 pips a couple of times. But um, the situation was so rapid that price actually actually taking us out of our sell position right now so what i said here though today is that we want to be patient on the u.s tech looking out for um, a signal for us to join either a rally or a decline so whenever we have a simple channel like this where we have a, sub, a resistant level here and a support level here we want to be waiting out for either a breakout of the structure to give us an opportunity to buy or a breakdown of the structure to give us an opportunity to sell. So on the US tech, we are going to be patient here and wait out for the structure to mature in the form of a breakout of the 11,000 or the breakdown of the 10,870 to join the respective momentum. Then we went on to talk about the GBP USD for today. And on the GBP USD, um, though we initially took advantage of some sell position at the beginning of the week, as soon as price broke down that support level at the 1.20450. Remember, we had the uh, hold on a second. <clears throat> So remember, we had a, a beautiful channel at the beginning of the week where price action was caught within the 1.20800 and the 1.20450. And we saw the breakdown. We took advantage of the breakdown retest of that structure, which gave us about um, how many pips that was at the beginning of the week, over 140 for the first time and the second time we had over 80 pips in profit before this bullish momentum began. And as a result of the higher lows we had here, we 
identify this bullish trend line which appears to have been broken during the early hours of today so we already saw the breakdown of the one point um two zero four fifty which also shares a confluence with that bullish trend line and we took advantage of the sell position here and the next thing we did here is to move our stop loss to break even lock in some profit here and let's wait out to see how price action will be reacting to the 1.200 level a level which was identified on the daily time frame and i said this that for those who had missed out on this opportunity below the 1.20450 we want to be patient and wait out for price action to break down the 1.200 level we are selling pressure below the structure of our lower time frame should be giving us an opportunity to add more position to our existing trade and for those who are thinking of buying the GPUSD, well, from a long-term perspective, I suggested that I want to be holding on to see price action break out of the supply zone here between the 1.2100 level and the 1.20800 level to give me a sign that buyers are come to stay here. So I want to see a significant breakout of the structure, retest, then I want to be joining the rally to the upside if this does not happen i'm not going to be thinking of buying the us oil remember since the beginning of this year price action has continued to reject this area giving more strength to the dollar and um, if the structure is not breaking out outrightly to the upside i will not be thinking of buying the gp usd now one thing about this structure is that considering the fact that we have a strong sell window between the 1.2100 level and the 1.208 if at any point during the new york session today price takes us out of our current sell position and climbs up into this area i will still be looking out for selling pressure around this area to join that decline to the downside and if we extend this bullish trend line further into the future here you will see that um the trend line here was broken here and from a technical standpoint whenever we have a breakdown of structure um like this we expect that price might likely come back to do a retest of that structure to incite another wave of bearish momentum to the downside so what i'm going to be looking forward to even if price takes me out of the current sell position here i will continue to remain bearish on this one as long as price remains below the 1.21 area and the 1.20800 which has been a strong selling niche for participants in this market since the beginning of this year now we went on to talk about the usd jpy for today and on the usd jpy we are profitable on the usd jpy currently as we were running with about how many pips in profit right now over 120 pips in profit on our first position and and um about um 40 pips in profit on our second position now what we noticed here was that as soon as price tested the 132.720 we have been witnessing selling pressure from that level for the emphasizing the strength of the sellers at this point. Then in addition to this is this bullish trend line that we have here where bullish momentum has been this line has been supporting bullish momentum since the beginning of this year and one thing i said here is that this trend line here and the structure here shall be our yardstick for trading activity for today and how are we going to be making use of the structure well the first one is this if price breaks down this bullish trend line does a retest of structure in our lower time frame and then we want to be selling the us to jpy and if a further breakdown of the 132 japanese level happens then we want to be looking out for selling pressure on our lower time frame so that we can join another wave of bearish momentum to the downside and remember i told you how the structure also has a possibility of ev evolving into a double top structure which is a reversal pattern with the 132.00 level serving as the neckline of that reversal pattern so if a breakdown of that level happens we want to be joining that decline sorry we want to be joining that decline to the downside and i said we don't have to wait for price to break down the 132.2 132.00 level for us to join the decline we all just need to look out for this breakdown of this bullish trend line if a breakdown happens uh we scale down to our lower time frame look out for selling pressure around this area we join the decline 
and if a further breakdown of the 132 happens we had more position to our existing trade then the other possible scenario that we stated here is the bullish possibility that could happen here where price might respect this bullish trend line one more time break out of the 132.720 hereby taking out all the sell position here to give us a confirmation that the buyers have come to stay and if that happens we want to be looking out for buy opportunity right above the structure to add more position to our existing trade here on the usd jpy so these are my views here on the usd jpy then we went on to close the day with the xau usd where we were able to take over 2500 pips on this on this commodity since the beginning of the week remember we took advantage of this buy opportunity right above the 1832 and price action moved over 3000 pips in our favor and uh, before we started witnessing the sell pressure coming in at this point and one thing i stated here during the live session today is the fact that we have noted certain pressure right around the 1860 in the last um 15 to 16 hours now price action has been rejecting that level so sellers are not allowing buyers to break out of that structure and this has led into a situation where uh, we have something that looks like a double top structure which from a technical standpoint is a strong reversal pattern as you can see here price was unable to break the previous high that we have here revolving into that double top structure look alike and whenever we have a reversal pattern like this next thing we want to be doing is to identify a neckline for that reversal pattern which we have identified at around the $1,850 level and what we want to be looking out for is a breakdown retest of the structure to give us an opportunity to join that decline to the downside and as we can see right now we already have a breakdown of the 1850 here and like i said if price continue to trade below this structure we want to feel comfortable in our sell position on the xau usd then in addition to the structure we identified here is this bearish trend line which i was able to um uh, um, identify after connecting the series of lower highs here so what i said here is that price might likely come back into this trend line to incite another wave of bearish momentum so we shouldn't get to worried if price continues to climb to the upside as long as price remains below this bearish trend line we want to be comfortable in our sell position however if price breaks out of this trend line probably with an engulfing candle followed by buy pressure right above this trend line it will be a very good opportunity for us to join um, another rally to the upside and if a further break out of the 1860 happens that is taking out all the sell position here it will be be a good opportunity to add more position to our existing trade on the XAU USD. So on this note, I want to be calling it a day as I look forward to a profitable day for us on the USD on the on all the instruments we have talked about today. And thank you very much for being around. And one thing I always say is that we don't want to get too excited whenever we have. Um, a signal which might come in form of a breakout or a breakdown of a structure once we have a breakout of a structure like this on probably on our higher time frame like the one hour time frame the next thing we want to be doing is to scale down to a much lower time frame like your 15 10 5 3 minutes time frame look out for retest of structure supporting the direction of that breakout or breakdown then at that point in time, we can get that further confirmation to join whatever direction price action is leading us to. Um, thank you for being around. I really appreciate everyone. I can see um, Steamroller's comment. Okay, I'm glad that um, I was able to uh, make some difference today. <laughs> All right, so I wish you a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you same time tomorrow, 10 a.m. UTC, 11 a.m. West African time. And let's come here again to review all the pairs we have been monitoring since the beginning of the week, after which we are going to be getting ourselves prepared for the New York session tomorrow. So on this note, I wish you best of luck today and do have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.